Okay, hello again guys, it's Kakil and uh, we're back for some more Java 2D game development. At the end of the last one we just finished going through this game canvas class. Uh, you should have all that by now, but you, you might be thinking, well, what's the point in this? It doesn't actually do anything. Which it doesn't, which is why in this episode we're going to show you what you can actually do with this before we get on to making the game itself. So, uh, if we just start, I've made a very quick jousting class as it is a jousting game we're going to be making. So the, the key thing is it extends this. So when you use extends operator, this means it has all the functionality this has. So now I can call any of these functions. Even though I don't need to because these are all called by this this loop. So anyway, uh, and we made this abstract uh, with our paint and update methods here. So we have to include them in here as well. And see, and the constructor has to be there as we've not defined our own one. And it's abstract, so it needs that constructor. Right, so first thing first when we're using this is we need to uh, <coughs> add a frame. So uh, we'll just create a new instance of Jousting first of all. I'll well, just call it test for just now. So when I do this, it will call this function here. So let's just make it 500 by 500. Nice, easy square. Right, so may as well put in a J frame. And you should know a wee bit about J frames right now. If not, there's some great tutorials out on the internet. So I'll just do this really quickly. What have I done? Oh. <coughs> That's not a semicolon. Set default. What's wrong with that? Default codes operation. Yep. And uh right, pack. Uh probably don't probably want to make it unresizable. No, false. Yeah. Right, so now this should display a nice wee frame if I run it, hopefully. Yep, there it's there. It's the wrong size. Why is it the wrong size? Oh, right, because it's not added it yet. That was a very stupid mistake. So what we have to do is we have to add test to this frame. <coughs> and now it should be 500 by 500. And there we go. A nice frame. Actually, bigger than the recording I'm making, but either way. Now, uh, if we want to add anything to it, all we need to do is go to these functions here or paint and update. So, let's see, let's just paint anything. So, say I want a red, a, a red rectangle, and we're going to draw it at I don't know, 50, 80, 90, doesn't really make a difference. We'll just make it a really big one, 100 by 100, make it a square. Okay, so <coughs> now after our import color, what that should do is draw that rectangle that we're wanting. So there we go, it's drawn. Now that, that may not be too impressive, but remember this isn't just drawn, this is actually double buffering, so this is being drawn over and over and over and over again. Which means that we can, if we say something like n x, x equals zero, we want to draw it to 50 plus equals x, and then an update, which is again called over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, wait a minute, hang on. Then it should move this, uh, rectangle this time, which is not for some strange reason. What have I done wrong here? Oh, there we go. So now we have our sort of moving rectangle. That can be done for anything, so we can update whatever we like. So it's really simple. Whatever we want to paint, we just put in this function here, and it will paint anything. We can change the color of the rectangle. We can draw another one. One that doesn't move at say a hundred uh, ten, a really small one, 
we can do whatever we like and it'll draw it for us as long as it's in paint and update it will draw it for us so that's just a wee brief introduction to the game canvas class and next episode we'll uh crap next episode we'll start on the actual jousting game itself but that was just a wee quick introduction i'll just leave all this here as we need a jousting class for our uh, final game and that is fine see you guys in the next episode uh, please comment <coughs> and rate thank you very much